the sky over a city in eastern China Xinjiang province turned blood red at night on May 23, 2024. Many residents were shocked after spotting it in different areas. Viral video has left the internet baffled. Here is my reflection and the prophetic connection. We will be discussing an ancient Chinese record of Jesus. Did the Chinese civilization worship the God of the Bible? Here is the truth. Thank you dear friends. Kindly share and like this prophetic update. Buddhism is the largest officially recognized religion in China. And whenever there are viral red sky occurrence, they see this as apocalyptic. News says residents shocked as apocalyptic blood red sky covers Chinese city. Residents of a city in Xiejiang province, China, were left in shock after the night sky turned blood red last week, prompting the local meteorological department to investigate. The bizarre spectacle occurred in the Jingzhang district in Shouzhan, Xiejiang province, around 8 p.m. Residents shared videos of the sighting on Chinese social media drawing various explanations on its cause. Red sky occurrence on China have been happening before like on 2012, 2022, 2023 and again this May of 2024. And every occurrence they interpret it as an apocalyptic signal that often happens in the month of May. Residents of China's port in Shouzhan pressed the panic button at, as the city sky suddenly turned blood red. While some feared a massive fire, others believe it to be an apocalyptic sign. As usual, netizens were quick to jump on Twitter to post the visuals of the blood red sky. In this book, it says, China's population size, economic growth, and thirst for military power have taken center stage by those who study biblical prophecy. Most end-time experts have seen the Red Dragon as an aggressor to Israel. In Revelation 16 and chapter 19, John's mention of the armies involved in the final battle marking the end of the world could well depict China's army today. Is China in Bible prophecy? What do our Chinese friends and Asian civilization believe about end time? Did the Chinese civilization ever worship the true God of the Bible? Some believe that China's history reveal that they may actually have worshipped the true God of the Bible, Yahweh, before it was plagued with false religion and idol worship dating all the way back to 2500 BC. Ancient writings from one of China's greatest historian known as Sakan show that the Chinese civilization all worship one monotheistic god which they called Shangyi. The emperor during that time named Shangyi actually built a temple for this monotheistic god. Here is the story. In a very similar way that the Israelites did for God of the Bible Yahweh, those who worship Shangyi also describe how he created the earth very similarly to how the book of Genesis described creation. The account reads, this of old in the beginning, there was the great chaos without form and dark and five planets had not begun to resolve, nor the two lights to shine in the midst of it. There existed neither form nor sound. Spiritual sovereign came forth in your sovereignty and first did separate the impure from the pure. You made heaven, you made earth, you made man. All things became alive with the reproducing power. They also refused to create any idols of the supreme God in the heaven that they believe was sovereign. Many scholars actually believe that the Chinese were the descendants of Noah's son Shem, which is why they pick up the same biblical principles of Yahweh's nature, including describing the creation of the earth, as well as not making any idols of graven images and worshipping only one monotheistic God. This temple still stands today and is viewable to the public for over 2,000 years 
the Chinese all worship one monotheistic god who they believe was invisible until 500 BC when Taoism and Confucianism was creeping into the civilization. This is the largest altar for sacrifice in the world. It was dedicated to Shangdi, which sounds exactly like the Hebrew word for Shaddai. The similarities to the Old Testament worship are undeniable. Unlike every other temple in all of Asia, this temple was made according to the second commandment God gave to Moses, to make no graven image, only a name. Dear friends, this is the reason why we should evangelize the gospel so people can clearly know who Jesus is and his second coming. Revelation 14 verse 6, Then I saw another angel flying in the heavens with the everlasting gospel to proclaim to the world, Fear God, give glory to Him, and worship Him, for the hour of His judgment has come. Satan prevented the maturity of the faith and belief of the Chinese civilization to worship the true God. So he invented Taoism and Confucianism to muddy the waters. The Antichrist, the Pope of Rome, is working tirelessly to bring Buddhism in the Laudato Si caravan. Pope Francis affirmed that the existence of all different faiths in our world is part of the will of God. May 28, 2024, RomeReports.com says, the Pope reflected on the Buddhist Christian Symposium that was held in Thailand. Addressing Buddhism, he reiterated one of the things of the Symposium saying, No one is saved alone. We can only be saved together. Let us pray that God will help us evangelize in non-Christian religions about the love of Jesus and the judgment, the second coming of Christ. Red skies that occurred on China is not supernatural, but again and again, it reminds us and shows us apocalyptic scenes from the book of Revelation. What happened in the Jordan River? The children of Israel crossed over the Red Sea. They were running with fear, but at the Jordan River, they crossed over ready to conquer. This is what happens when you give your life to Christ. You become conquerors. And in the book of Revelation, a river for the saved. Are you lost? Jesus is the way. Would you like to know the real teachings of the Word of God? Jesus is truth. Would you like a purpose in your life? Jesus has eternal life. And He wants to spend eternity with you. Kindly type in the comment section, Jesus is my salvation. Thank you, dear friends. And may we continue to preach the truth found in Bible prophecy.